Again, and welcome back to another trading tutorial. Now in this trading tutorial what we're going to look at is how to calculate a theoretical option price when there are no prices in the actual bid offer um, series on the um, ASX site. So what we're doing is we're going back to the ASX site again which is www asx.com.au as you can see there on the screen. Now we come up to this left side navigation again and what we want to do look at is education and resources and click on that. Then we click on calculators which will bring up some other calculators and here you can see all the options calculators. Now um, there's the theoretical option price calculator there's a few other ones that you can see. Um, and just click on all these until it brings it up. Okay, so what we're going to do is we'll use in the same example we used before, we used uh, BHP. So what you do here is, as it says, you select the underlying security or index. So we go to here. Now here it shows you all, these are all the shares that allow options to be written or sort of bought over them. Right, we'll go find the HP. Very easy one. We'll click on that, and it brings it up. All these are all the option series, option pricing. Um, sorry, all the option series for BHP from now until however far they could go into the future. That's 2012. So there's quite a lot there, and these actually, unlike the other one before, you cannot choose whether you want to look at puts or calls, you just get them all. So it's up to you to go through them and find out which one you want to look at. Uh, now we'll use the same example as we used before, the $45, um, say put option expiring in June, we'll do it say July. July. So you just scroll through until you see the one that you want. Got to go a bit further. There's $45 And of course, we'll go find the puts, which are here. As you can see, this is why it's better in the last one that you can actually choose which series you want, uh, whether you want puts or calls, because you have to sort of go through them quite a bit. It's no real big deal if you know what you're looking for. There we go. That was the one, the BHP CQ $45 put option. Now, remember in the last video, you could not see a bid or an offer. So, this is how you work out what that would be. You just click go. Here we have it on the screen. Now, what you can actually do as well is put in however many contracts you want to do and it'll work it all out for you. So this shows you the code, um, whether it's a call or a put, the style, American or European, expiry date, the exercise price, which is here, the contract size and the exercise price, uh, and this is the option value, which is here, and this is the theoretical price. Now, this option value was is usually yesterday's pricing. So you go really by this theoretical price here. Uh, but it's, it could be in between those. I mean, one way to work it out is to is to add um, the bid, is to add this and the theoretical price together and divide by two, like we did in the um, in the previous one. But that gives you an idea, anyway, of the actual pricing. Of the, um, of the option, and that's it. And you can add more to it if you want to, but it also gives you some, gives you some other information as well, like um, dividend, first dividend, first dividend date. Um, that's the actual price at the moment of the stock. Um, the first dividend date and how much, and yada yada, all that kind of stuff. Uh, volatility. If uh, you play the volatility at all, it gives you the implied volatility down here and yeah, there you go. See, and, and what you can do too is we'll add, we'll add more just so I can show you how you can add more to it if you wanted to then see, oh well, you know, if you were thinking of selling that put, well that's, you know, pretty good value, um, but maybe you don't want to sell it so close to the, you know, underlying 
price of the stock, so you might want to try a strike before that. Um, so we'll go back to here. You can go all the way back down to your puts and say a um, I don't know, say forty dollar. Let's have a look at a forty dollar. There you go, and it will show you forty dollar what that price is. There you go. See, and um, you, know, you can see that's a high volatility there. Um, yeah, you've got sixty three. 52, was it 0.6? But you can see it gives you a, a roundabout value. Um, I, th I mean, from memory, I think it is more like this value here. But um, you know, to call it call, that's like the theoretical price, and the theor theoretical price is what it should be, um, as opposed based on the value of the stock, that's what it should be. But the actual value of it is is what the market makers are making it at, and um, that that goes by how many people are you know wanting to get in, how many people are in it already, um, and it's based on a whole lot of different factors. But that gives you an idea anyway. So there you go. That's how you find the theoretical prices of options. In the uh, next video tutorial, uh, I'm going to show you how to possibly calculate um, the margin that you may need if you are selling options. Um, if you're doing spreads, if you're just selling them outright and things like that. So I hope that's another valuable one for you. Um, at the end of this video tutorial it's going to take you straight to my website um, onto the contact form where you can um, write to me and tell me what other um, videos, tutorials you'd like to see, what other information you'd like to know, how I could possibly help you. So uh, make sure you fill that in and send it to me. and. Um, I'll do my best to deliver. Okay, thanks. I'll see you in the next video.